Welcome back. I'm Emily Chang and this is Bloomberg West. You can also catch our early edition 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. We turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward and their series Feeding the Planet, exploring how innovations in sustainability and technology can help produce enough food for a growing population. Today's innovation, a twist on locally sourced groceries, bringing the farm closer than ever to the store. We love our food, but can we really say we have a connection to it? That's where the farmery comes in. It's the brainchild of Ben Green, an entrepreneur born and raised on a small, struggling farm in North Carolina. He uploaded his idea to Planet Forward. When I drive around rural North Carolina, I see how this land used for agriculture. And it, and it makes me think of the complex journey that the food has to take from these fields to the retail store shelves. Green thought of a way to cut out that journey by growing food inside the store. The opportunity for us is huge because supermarkets currently sell this incredibly intimate product in a very stale, boring environment. It all came together when plant specialist Tyler Nethers joined the team. I was living and working in Hawaii on Oahu growing endangered species for the United States Army in a bioreserve. He found Green's work online and brought his seeding smarts to the farm. The original idea is a little out there, used hydroponic tubes to turn shipping containers into small-scale farming stores. The future of full-sized retail space with a cafe and an interactive grocery experience. They'll be able to pick different salad greens, culinary herbs, strawberries as they're fresh. Green's in the process of scaling up his 100-square-foot startup to a full-service store 70 times bigger. They'll even raise fish and use the nutrient-rich water to feed their plants. What they can't grow themselves, they'll get from local growers. The core of this business plan, connect customers to their food and to the people who grow it. We're kind of flipping this grocery model on its head, and instead of just being a place to supply it, it's a place to, to celebrate their, their identity by sell, selling this food. Bringing the farm to the customer, Green thinks it can be an efficient and fun way to feed the planet. Joining me now is Planet Forward host Frank Sesno. And Frank, you know, how is this company setting up for the future? Obviously, we know companies like Amazon are planning to make it easier than ever to get groceries delivered to your door. Well, this is a little different, right? Because they want to take you to where the stuff is growing, right there in the store. They want 15% of their revenue to come from the food they're growing in the store. They're hoping to open their first stores in 2014 next year in the southwest, southeast. They're talking to four cities right now. They're already have, they already have a component of this online, and you can buy the living wall. You could actually buy that for your house, Emily, and you could have the wall in your house, and you could just grow the lettuce right there in your living room or wherever you want. So they've got big plans, but they're starting small. This is going to be boutique stuff. This is not the kind of thing that's going to be for the developing world to feed the nine billion. This is going to be the stuff that, you know, goes for a niche audience right here in the United States in the developed world. This is one of the many ideas and innovations we'll be having at the Feeding the Planet Summit. It, by the way, is going to be on Wednesday. And if people want to go to planetforward.org, they'll be able to see this and lots of other innovations. And we'll have watch parties and that kind of thing so people can even stream it. But this is interesting stuff, it's innovative stuff, and it's one of many, many ideas now that are coming up uh, to speed because this food thing is hot. We have just about 2% of the population in this country who are involved in agriculture, but everybody's a foodie. So there's, there's a lot of potential out there. I do like my food. Planet Forward's Frank says no. Thanks so much. <laughs> and if you have an idea you would like to submit, visit planetforward.org. And for more environmental and sustainability news, check out bloomberg.com slash sustainability.